Hey everybody. All right, so the window is here. <laughs> Ta-da! Um, now is when we're gonna find out whether this window was a perfect fit or not. I'm not gonna be able to put it in just yet because I don't have any flashing tape. I have to order that. So maybe a few days before we put it on, but we're gonna open it and we're gonna measure it and we're gonna see if it just slides in or if it was a flop. All right, here we go. Short clips. All right, babe, open up the box. <laughs> It's beautiful. Careful. Right, we're gonna take this outside to see if it fits in the hole that's the opening this is the old window and this is the new one Ooh, does that look right babe no no what's wrong with it it's too wide we'll make it fit We'll make it fit. The guy taught me how to do it. How many inches is that? Two inches? Do you think we can make it fit? Yep. What can we do to make it fit? Cut some stuff. Bring in my saw. Really? Yeah. Thank you. So basically we were measuring how much we'd have to cut off or better said re-add after we cut. I felt motivated that we'd be able to make this window fit. I spoke to a repairman at Pat Sales and we'd never done this before but what the heck we had to give it a go. I had to pay to have the window shipped so if I returned it I'd have to pay more to return it. And I figured we could absolutely do it and Chris was pretty confident that we can also do it. So he removed the stud, that it's like a two by four. Sponsored by Dewalt. Just kidding. Two hours later. So the 2x4 that was holding the original window, we took that out, placed the window inside of it just to secure it so it wouldn't fall over or break in any way. He went ahead and drilled it to the wall. And now what we're doing is basically just creating another stud or support for the left side of the window. And we went ahead and with the same one that we pulled off because it was quite strong we went ahead and put it on the bottom underneath the new wood 
and right at the top, securing it into place. That's James, he's helping his daddy to the window. Wait, be careful. See if he wait for him to. There you have it. We made it fit on the inside at least. Okay, so the outside needs a lot of help. Clearly, we had to cut the siding off of it. What I think I'm gonna be doing is putting the flashing all around it basically. And then once the flashing is on this side, I'll go inside and put like an expansion foam just to make sure that it's nice and airtight. But it's not horrible for the first time. At least I don't think it is. <laughs> if you guys have any advice and you've done this before, please leave the comments down below. Oh, there's that little spider. I'm glad I didn't kill it. There you have it, guys. Our first window on the shed. Ah, oh my goodness. Okay, Marco has escaped. I got to put him back. Thanks for watching, everyone. God bless you. Remember, get your hands dirty in the garden.